Hi guys, and welcome to this Barracks and Create a Unique Company Guide in Fate of an Empire Age of War. My name is Peter and I'm the developer of Fate of an Empire. If you like this video, don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe buttons. Before we get started, I would like to mention the rulebook. If there are details or stuff about Fate of an Empire that you wonder about, always take a look in the rulebook. Whenever you see this icon, you can click on it to open the rulebook. In the rulebook you can find guides to help you get into the game, as well as detailed information on much of the mechanics. Yep, you'll notice this is quite a complex game. As soon as you have researched one or two weapon technologies, for example Weapons 1, it's worth to replace the obsolete militia with some real troops. Managing troop designs are done in the barracks and you reach it through the game menu. In the barracks you can see some statistics of all battles your empire has participated in as well as combat reports from the last turn. It seems that we fought a losing battle against Goats and nearly lost the scout. But you can also manage all your current company types. It shows what designs you have and how many of each type you have active in your army. Click on a design and you can see all its details. This is also where you retire old company types. Just click on the obsolete button and they'll disappear. If you retire a company type while still having active companies in the empire, they will keep to the old design. Retiring the design will only hide it from this list and the build list in your settlement. Let us design a new company. You need to give each company type a unique name. In this example, I'll create a city guard company to defend my settlements. It will be regular foot soldiers with good defensive combat values. I'll not spoil all the secrets here, but I must point out a few things that are good to know. Most emperors can only design company types of their own race, and they the exception to this rule as they can use green skinned companies as well. Also, advanced move types must be unlocked before you can use them. And finally, most of the abilities are also locked by technologies and many of them are race specific. For all custom made company types there is also an upgrade button. This will allow you to create a new company type using this design as a base template. Please remember that all new designs need to have a unique name even when you make a new company type by upgrading an old one. I hope you enjoy this guide on how to create a unique company type. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Fatal Empire content. Cheers 